Hello, it's Austin again. I was just uh, wanting to demonstrate my newly completed set of Franklin's Bells, my reproduction. Um, what I have here is just a set of two bells sitting insulated on a couple of uh, borosilicate or Pyrex tubes and um, a small steel pendulum hung on a brass rod from another uh, bent piece of borosilicate tubing. Um, I've got just these uh, ball-in terminals on here to prevent corona losses and uh, let you wrap something around it like um, this uh, ball chain. And what I'm using that for is um, one of these bells has to be charged and one of them has to be grounded. And so this one is grounded through that ball chain to the table which is sufficient for what we're doing. And um, to charge it I'm just uh, going to rub this vinyl disc against my head which again is kind of comical, but um, it provides the necessary effect to make this device work. Um, just a device running off of uh, electrostatic attraction and repulsion. Okay, here we go for the demonstration. All I'm going to do is um, rub this against my head, which will rub electrons off of my hair and onto the vinyl disc. And then I'm going to rub this disc against that bell going to transfer the negative charge to that bell, like so. I want to try that again. It's about 70% humidity in here. It doesn't really work when it's that humid. There's minimal effect. And there we go. Um, a brief description of the reason it works. Um, opposite charges attract and like charges repel. We know that much. So um, this is um, uh, this is neutral, but um, for, for this sake we'll call it positive because it simply doesn't have as many electrons as this bell. And um, this is our negative. So we got a positive and negative and then this ball here. Now this ball is originally neutral, which we're calling positive as this terminal is negative when I charge it, so the ball wants to move towards the terminal. However, when it reaches the terminal, the ball attains a negative charge and now repels this terminal and goes over to this one, where it dumps its charge into the neutral, which is connected to the ground, so the charge simply goes away. It's again neutral, or positive, and moves back to this bell, picks up more, repels, and dumps it again. So it's just a cycle until um, the charge has been uh, removed from this terminal. Mm. And um, this, this wasn't a very good demonstration. If I had this hooked up to a, an electrostatic machine, it would be a lot better display, but that's about it.